Hello Roboticist, this is Savage Robots and I'm going to do a real quick video on the PS4 DualShock uh, in Gazebo Software in the Loop. This is with uh, the PX4 Siddle and so I'm just going to go over uh, setup and Q ground control. Now I'm using the DS4 DRV driver and I'll put a link to that in the description. So there's a couple considerations with uh, using the the PS4 DualShock. Uh, one thing is that it is, you know, the throttle is going to be spring loaded. So you have a couple options there. I'll go over in the setup. Uh, I really think that um, using this gamepad is helpful. Also, I've seen that um, various users on Twitter uh, have used it in ROS2 as well uh, successfully. So I think having a controller that can pull double duty in both uh, ROS2 and uh, PX4 is, you know, really great. Instead of, you know, switching from an RC transmitter uh, just to uh, um, something else. Whereas you can have one controller that kind of does it all. Uh, maybe not the best. Like for, for wing, it's a little difficult with a spring-loaded throttle. I'll go over it. So we're going to start the driver. Um, I'm using USB, so it's high draw. Uh, so and then in Q ground control, when we set up the gamepad, we're going to go to uh, joystick, um, select the controller, and I'm just going to play with the throttles a little bit, make sure the thumbsticks are working. Button assignment, I've mapped everything out kind of on the on the on the modes. Uh, calibration, you can do this. Uh, and then I have the center stick is throttle, spring loaded smoothing. So I'm ar I'm already kind of flying around on a uh, mission right now. So I'm going to, it's kind of hard to see the plane in follow mode in gazebo. If anyone knows how to fix that, that'd be great. But yeah, if you found this video helpful, let me know in the comments. Uh, if you want to see a Ross 2 video, uh, maybe something with like Turtle Sim or also something like controlling a, a robot in gazebo with uh, just ROS2, let me know as well. Thanks. Have a good one.